All right, today we are going to learn how to make a master mold. Here's the original mold for this little guy right here. So it took three hours to do the clay wall around this little gremlin guy. And then two days later, after making the mold, I ripped out a big chunk of this mold on accident and now this mold is useless. And I wasn't done making castings of the gremlin guy right here. So the thing is, is I had to go in and make a whole new mold. More silicone, more clay walling, and the clay walling took three, three hours for this one, again took three hours for this one. So there's six hours it took to just put the clay wall around there to get so I can get my seam lines perfect. Now I got the new molds done, which took eight hours for this to cure on this side, eight hours to cure for this side. So there's 16 hours of cure time because you only mold up one side at a time. After these molds were done, I went in and did a master copy. So this is cast 50 over here. Fast cure time. You got a 2 to 2.5 minute work time and the cure time is 10 to 15 minutes. This is an exact replica of what this mold is. So if this mold gets destroyed, all I do is drop this into a mold box, pour my silicone over the top of it, and I can cast both sides up at the same time taking only eight hours instead of 16 hours. And I don't have to do a clay wall again, and I don't have to put my keys in, I don't have spruces in. Now, when I cast up these, I do not put the pour spouts in, nor do I put the spruces all the way to the top for the air release. Um, I like to keep everything contained into the mold and cut those in afterwards, after the mold's finished. If I make a mistake, the nice thing is, if I cut too much, I've got my masters here to make another mold. So let's pull this little guy out. This is made out of Flexit 90. This one is uh, casted out of Flexit 90. Also can cast it out of Cast 50 or any of the other resins that we have. Now that we explain what a master is, these right here, we got our two sides. I got my part B of my cast 50 in warm water. So it's heating it up. Again, you want to uh, take that. You don't want water anywhere near your resin. So we dry that bottle off, get it all nice and dry. But what this does is it makes this nice and liquidy. So it releases all the air bubbles when we start working with our silicone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out a little silicone mat. I'm going to put these here on this side. I'm not going to drop them into the box yet. What I want to do is I'm going to pour in a small amount and then I'm going to make sure I go through all the little details and get out any air bubbles that might get caught inside this casting. So we're going to do one side at a time. So we're going to take our silicone, we're going to grab two of our mixing cups, and we've got our main mixing cup. Now when you're using popsicle sticks, these release air bubbles. So it's best to use something that is non coarse, so something like this plastic. So this is what I'm using for my stir stick is some plastic sculpting tool. I don't know what it is, but that's what we're going to use. So we have our part A and our part B. So our part B was soaking in the warm water, getting nice and liquidy because this one's always pretty liquidy. This one here kind of air dries, stiffens up, 
you want to make sure that it's all nice and mixed or the viscosity of this resin is really really low so we got our mix cup we are going to take and we're going to pour in All right, here we have our two master molds done. So we'll just pull the rubber bands off. Oh, well, that one just broke. That's okay. Throw it in the trash can anyway. Grab that one, pull that one off. Good to go. Grab our X-Acto blade, cut down one of our corners. All right, we'll do just a little bit of cleanup here. Don't need to, but we're going to do it anyway. Let's go around my edges, make sure they're nice and dull, not sharp. Don't need a sharp edge. All right, this is how you make a master copy of your mold without a vacuum chamber or a pressure pot for a bubble-free casting. Here we have the top castings. So basically they just go right on the top. 
These require building a wall if you want to make another silicone mold off of these. This one here is a box mold. This one's ready to go. Just pour your silicone in, throw it in your pressure pot, and you have yourself a identical copy to this mold. If this mold ever gets damaged, again, you can just make another mold super quick, or if you're making a product run, pour your silicone in, let it cure, pull it out, pour your silicone in, let it cure, pull it out, pour your silicone in, let it cure, pull it out, and the characteristics are exactly the same in every single mold. So if you know you're getting air bubbles in one spot, it's going to be the same in every single mold. So now you know exactly how to fix that problem. The silicone I used in this is cast a mold 30 TF. This is an eight hour curing silicone with a 15 minute work time. These pieces here are done with cast 50. Fast curing time, you have 2.5 minutes and demolding time is 10 to 15 minutes depending on your climate. Same way with this one is cast 50. This little guy here in the center is casted out of Flexit 90. Um, if you were looking for a flexible silicone that is not going to break when you drop it or throw it, Flexit 90 might be the, the resin for you. And again, this is specialty resins and have a good day.